Hey everybody, welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie and we are going through this book called The Noticer by Andy Andrews. He has written some incredible books. There's a gift, I would, or I'm sorry, a gift. There's a book uh, called The Traveler's Gift that I also would love for you to go through, but this book is great. It's helping you have perspective. And so if you're brand new, post new below. If you've been here for a while, you know that I like to go and do lives in the morning that are going to give you something to think about, something to ponder about, just a thought or idea to help you throughout your morning. And that's what we're doing this morning. So I actually have three things that I want to share, uh, whether it is a question or a thought that you can take with you throughout your day, whether you stay home or whether you work out of the home, uh, whatever the case may be, my hope is that you can have a different perspective today in an area of your life. So, actually, you know what I would love to know? I would love to know what you do uh, as you're tuning in. Like, do you, where do you work? What is your profession? Do you work outside of the home? Do you work in the home? I would, my kids are making some protein smoothies this morning. I am a mom a homeschool mom, and also my husband and I have a business that we work from home. So I homeschool, we homeschool. My husband helps sometimes. We also call him the tractor man because we live one mile outside of our town. And so uh, we're adding land to our home. We live in Minnesota. Again, homeschool mom uh, slash business mom, everything I do from our home. Keto mom. Uh, and so I would love to know if you're open and willing to share, what do you do? Tell me what you do. A leadership trainer. Oh, Jill, I love that. I might have to pick your brain. I would love to know more about what you do. So tell me what you do below. Say good morning. I want to know. All right. So here's the book that we're going through. I'm not going to read it to you. What's fun about this book, and I shared this yesterday, is this book isn't a checklist book right? It's not a, hey, do this and this and this and get results. This book is about perspective as you go throughout your day to truly help change your heart, your attitude towards situations, environments, uh, people in your life, right? And so I'll give you the overview of what this is about. Uh, this book gives you a character named Jones. And Jones is a man who has great wisdom and he finds different people in the chapters to give wisdom to. He might see a circumstance or something that's going on. Oh, you know what's so fun, Jill, is Andy Andrews. Actually, I got to be on his podcast probably sometime last year. Uh, he reached out and he's like, hey, I would love to. I got to meet him, Zoom, Zoom World, be on his podcast. We had some great conversations about the keto world and helping people. It was really cool. So great author, a uh, super great man. It was fun. So I love this because it's a story form of perspective. It's not a uh, check one, check two, check three, hit your goals. This will help give you perspective in life to look at the circumstances and environments and people that are around you in a different viewpoint and honestly make you go, huh, this is why they might be doing this and vice versa. So here's what happens in this second chapter is basically Jones, our main character. And if you read the book, people really don't know who he is. Some would say he's an angel. Some would say uh, uh, he just appears and then he's gone, right? And so in this chapter, he took a couple, that a marriage, that was on the verge of divorce and he gives them perspective to see each other in a different light. I promise you I will bring this back to even like this Keto Mom page. But he basically says this. He goes, a true friend holds you to a higher standard. He goes, a best friend or a true friend uh, tells you the truth. And a wise best friend will include a healthy dose of perspective. So he's talking to this couple. They're struggling in their marriage. He's helping them see each other from different viewpoints of like why she's doing this, why he's doing this. He says this, oftentimes our lives, he goes, people's lives are either in a crisis, coming out of a crisis or heading into another crisis. And so he talks about uh, their marriage and he talks about, here's, here's the kicker. 
He goes, I want you to know that things aren't as bad as they seem. Things are not as bad as they seem. He goes, most people just lack perspective. There are three things as I read this chapter and a lot of this, I mean, you've got to pick out like the little, like you've got to pick out the little things because I'm not going to read the story to you, but it's incredible. He goes, your problem is a matter of perspective. And then he walks these people through uh, marriage and communication. Out of this chapter, I want you to know something. And I think this is super powerful. It was a phrase that was said to me years ago. And the phrase is simply this. Well, there's three things. Number one, don't see things worse than they are. Don't see things worse than they are. We can often make up stories. We can uh, put situations in a way that we want to see them, right? Lack of communication allows us to create a story in our mind. A lack of communication and understanding allows us to put, you know, people in certain positions and places and create thoughts and things that were never meant to be. Don't see things worse than they are. And you could say that with your health. Let's just say right now, the way that you are choosing to go after goals, the way that you are choosing to become a better you, you might have people in your life that might not seem supportive. They might not seem like, yeah, like I support you. Maybe you, maybe you're frustrated because your kids or your spouse or your best friend or your mom or somebody maybe said something hurtful or like, oh, it's one of those things, or I can't believe you're doing another diet. I can't, you know what I mean? But in general, or maybe you're looking at yourself and truly looking at yourself worse than you actually are. Whatever that phrase means to you, I wish I could see all of your circumstances and see all of the environments and and I wish I could help you pinpoint some things that you're seeing worse than it is, but I can't. So I just want you to take this phrase and, and listen to it. Don't see things worse than it is, worse than they are. And it could be in communication with somebody close to you, an environment, a situation, because here's the next thing. I said I had three things for you, right? That phrase. Because usually we see things worse than they are because of lack of communication or our thoughts or somebody gave us a look. Or, oh my goodness, that my sister hasn't called me in five weeks. She hates me. Or, or whatever the case may be, my sister does not hate me. Uh, your words are powerful. It's because you didn't collect the facts. So if you feel resentment or anger or you've got that wall up of like, now this is what they think of me. I'm going, don't see worse. Don't see things worse than they are. And then it's time for you to go collect the facts. That's number two. Collect the facts before you make assumptions, which means you have to be a good communicator. You have to be a person of integrity to go in without angriness or preconceived thoughts or frustration to be like, hey, I just want to ask you a question. I actually just had this conversation with our daughter, our daughter at the table today. She was asking about a friend this morning. I always want to do these lives earlier in the morning and then my kids are awake and I love to have conversations with them and they come first. So I really should be getting up earlier and then I don't. So anyways, that's in my own head. So we were having good conversations this morning and my daughter was asking about a friend and a situation. And I said, listen, girls, what's so great is you have the opportunity to communicate to that friend of asking why they did what they did instead of assuming. If you don't, then you don't get the answer, but you can collect the facts and you can message that friend and you can be like, Hey, I saw this. I'm curious why you did this. Do you understand what you did? Like the repercussions of that choice? I said, uh, you know, our girls are blessed to watch me and my husband coach people. They hear a lot of words. They, I feel like maturity wise are and I'm not just saying that because they're our kids, but they honestly understand self-development and awareness and different things that a lot of adults don't understand. And they also have to understand that they're just, they're, their mountain to climb, their challenge to overcome is realizing that other teens are not there. So they get to choose to have conversations. And that's what I talk to them about. I'm like, 
don't assume that situation worse than it is. This is legitimately a conversation I had. I said, Amelia, I need you to have perspective. I need you to ask good questions. I need you to collect the facts. And I need you to figure out what the situation is so that you can help coach and guide that person, right? And and really, here's the last thing that I want to give you for this morning. Assume positive intent. Assume positive intent. When somebody might say something, you don't know if they're hurt. You don't know what's going on in their environment. When somebody has a look on their face, right? And you're like, when somebody gives me a look, I had this happen at church last night. There's a situation and a conversation that I was in and then I was interrupted and then something else happened and a conversation was had and I could have easily went down the spiral, just so you know, I could have easily went down the spiral route of, I wasn't invited. What am I left out of? Why was I interrupted? Rude. And instead, I I hear this thought a lot. My husband says this a lot. He goes, assume positive intent. So you want to know what I did? I didn't get mad. I didn't get frustrated. I legitimately sat and listened. And then I got to put the pieces and the puzzle together to realize it had nothing to do with me. Nor did I need to be frustrated. And nor did I need to be uh, like felt like I was left out. Because it had nothing to do with me. Nothing. But isn't it interesting how easy we can go down this spiral of like frustration, anger, loneliness, um, like resentment when, when number one, you're seeing things worse than they are. Number two, you didn't collect the facts. And number three, you didn't assume positive intent. Now, rightfully so. There might be some things, people, environments that you have to remove yourself from. But until you collect the facts and until you have conversations and until you ask good questions, you don't know. Is this making sense? I'm, I, you know, I, you know, oftentimes you see comments and I'm like, I'm coaching myself and my daughters and having good awareness from this book through story form of the power of assumption. And if you were to just sit and have some conversations, things can be fixed and tied back together And we all move on. So if there's anything that I leave you with today, I want you to understand, or I want you just to have these phrases of don't see things worse than they are. As you go into your work environment, in conversations with friends and family, your children, your spouse, yourself, don't see things worse than they are. I want you to collect the facts. I want you to get good at having conversations. I'm not going to say these conversations are easy. I told Amelia, I said, this conversation might not be easy, but either one, you're going to choose to have it and you're going to grow or two, you're going to allow that relationship to stay the same. And then it is what you were talking about. It's a stagnant, still boring, uh, very shallow level relationship. So you either have the conversation or you have to be okay with what it is. And then I also said, assume positive intent. That wasn't done to hurt you. It might not have anything to do with you. And so let's just figure it out. That's it. And I would encourage you to do the same. Good morning. Thank you for saying good morning. So perspective, my friends. I hope that those three things help guide you, serve you, uh, create some thought, maybe help fix something in your life today that you have been challenged with or take it with you. And now you have an awareness of those things that when something comes up, you can be the bigger person. You can have the conversations. You can have the, oh, to be expected. I'm going to not see this worse than it is. I'm going to collect the facts. I'm going to assume positive intent and I'm going to have a conversation. So this book is great. I would actually encourage you to get it and read it. The stories are incredible and we'll continue on tomorrow. So I don't know. I hope that served somebody today. Um, It's what was on my heart. It's what came to my mind. And my goal is to not only help you with the food choices that you want to make and the fat loss you want to achieve and the healthy body that you want, but to also work on your mindset and to help you become a better person.
because in that, in becoming a better you, you can overflow into other people. You will feel empowered to reach your goals. You'll feel empowered to do the things that maybe just seem boring, but you'll feel better. You'll choose better. You'll make better decisions. And that comes down to the food that you eat. Starts here. And so thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the comments that you're sharing. Uh, continue to tune into the page. Click on the stories. Go to ketomomsecrets.com for recipes. How to get started. I'm starting a new 10-day challenge uh, October 17th. I've got one going on right now in a private group. If you want to know more about the challenge, you can post challenge below. It's working on accountability, drinking ketones. It's working on your food. It's a 10 days of fun accountability. We do some fun prizes. So if you want to know more about the challenge, I'll come on later and talk about it, but you can post challenge in the comments. Otherwise, have an incredible day. Reach out with questions. Thank you for tuning in and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.